Hi, this is Matt from Studio One Expert. I wanted to show you a really cool way to save some time when you're working on song projects. And I'd actually forgotten about this little trick, and I want to thank Dave over at Vision Recording Studios for reminding me about it. And what it is, is creating favorite folders for your favorite uh, third-party plugins and their presets. And that's really cool. If you have several compressors that you use time and time again, or three or four different reverbs, or several EQs that you use, and you want to be able to store those in a quick place so you're not always scrolling through presets looking for that plugin, looking for that preset, you can go to that favorites folder and pull them right up. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is go to your files menu in your browser and go to the hard drive where you store your Studio One song files. For me, it's a little passport hard drive. under Studio One Session, and then you'll find this Presets folder. Now, if you right-click on the Preset folder and select New Folder, then you can create a folder for whatever. I'm going to call it Compressors. You can call it whatever you want. You can actually have more than one. If I wanted to, I could also create one called EQs and one called reverbs or whatever. You could also do it by company. Say one for UAD and one for waves or whatever. The next thing you wanna do is click on each folder. We'll start with the UAD folder for simplicity's sake. Right click on that folder and choose new tab from here. Now, if you look, there's a UAD folder. So the next thing you need to do is go back to your effects tab and start choosing those plugins that you use the most. For example, I use Oceanway Studios all the time. So drag that over into your arrange area or into your mixer area and it will create a new track, just like if you were gonna start recording. But what you wanna do is drag all those plugins into the same area. So, I also really like the EQP-1A, so I'm gonna drag it in right below Oceanway. Close that, get it out of the way. Uh, Real Verb. These are just examples. These aren't exactly what I use every time. RE-201. 33609. Uh, whatever it is that you, you really like to use. Once you have those, go back to your files menu and you can drag those straight into your files menu. Now, if, if there's a particular preset that you like or, uh, or you know something in particular that you use all the time, say vocal solo, you can set that up, tweak it the way you want, whatever. And then with those settings, drag it on over. Drag your pull tech on over. I don't usually use the presets. I usually just have a starting place and that's fine. You can do that too. Whatever works best for you. Now, once you have them in here, if you'll see, it creates FX1, FX1, FX1. All you have to do is rename the preset and we'll just call it LA 3A. Same thing with that one, call it 33609. Ocean Way. Like so. Save yourself a little bit of time and just delete what you don't want. And RE201. Once you have all of those renamed and the way you want them, you're done. And you can always go back to your files menu, go back down to the next folder and 
new tab from here. Now you can see there's a UAD, but then there's also an EQ folder, and you can do the same thing for EQs. However you want to do it is, is fine. This is just really cool because it gives you your most used favorites in a folder, and all you ever have to do is come back to the files and go to your tab for your particular plugins. Then you can unload these. You know, we could just delete the whole thing. Yes. Okay, so you're starting a new project and you have several tracks, right? 16 tracks, why not? Now, all you have to do is grab what you're looking for. You could set up your effects bus with your verbs, whatever. And it's that simple. Okay, and then, for example, just showing you the ocean way, still has the same settings that I saved, ready to go. And you just tweak it from there. So I hope that little trick helps, and I hope that uh, that speeds up your workflow. And that's it from me. We'll see you soon.